So this is the dried algae product. After we dry it, we grind it up into powder and then we extract the oil out of it. That oil is then refined into diesel fuel or jet fuel. The fuel that we're producing is exactly the same in terms of performance as gasoline or diesel or jet. It's just a lot cleaner. I think the big difference is that all the other biofuels you're growing it, you're just getting biofuel. In this case, every gallon of biofuel, you get 10 pounds of food with it. Dave Hazelbeck is the CEO and founder of Global Algae Innovations, a San Diego-based company growing algae on a farm in Hawaii, which he thinks could change the landscape of food and oil production. There are studies that show with algae grown to replace a large percentage of the animal feed, you could actually solve global warming to a large extent simply by doing that. Second thing is the leading cause of global water impairment is runoff from agriculture. When we grow algae, there's no runoff. All the nutrients are captured in the algae. Environmentally is for deforestation. The leading cause of deforestation is for food production. With algae producing 40 times more per acre, that means if we plant 1,000 acres of algae, that's 40,000 acres of crops that don't need to be planted. So the work here we're doing is extremely important. The world desperately needs algae biofuels and algae protein production. It's going to have a big impact economically. It's going to have a big impact on reducing poverty, improving standards of living, because it'll create uh, jobs and revenue in rural areas. That's why I decided to start this company, so that it could happen quickly, because it's too important for the world for it not to happen. So we're standing right now in one of our larger algae raceways. This is about a two acre raceway, but these raceways can be scaled to much larger. We look at making individual raceways up to 200 acres. And this is next to a power plant. It's unique because that allows us to capture carbon dioxide and avoid that discharge and reuse it, and that prevents it from going into the atmosphere and causing global warming. If every power plant had an algae farm next to it, it could potentially solve the global warming issue entirely. In simple terms, algae is fairly easy to grow, and it's able to flourish just about anywhere, whether it be freshwater, seawater, or brackish water. All it really needs is a good supply of carbon dioxide and plenty of sunshine. And while the location of global algae innovations in Kauai makes sense, Hazelbeck's team has come across some obstacles trying to scale the process up. You can see with all these tremendous benefits, you know, it's, you know, why aren't we doing it now and why hasn't it been done? But the problem is that the costs are too high throughout the entire process. And so it really requires hundreds of innovations throughout the entire process in order to reduce the cost because it was about 10 times too high. The problem associated with large-scale production has put similar companies out of business. But the approach of global algae innovations is different. Instead of seeing a roadblock, Hazelbeck and his team saw the potential to innovate solutions. Our approach was different in that we looked at every single step, developed a model to look at the costs, and the other thing is we didn't give up on any critical issue. So a gallon of oil when we started would have been about $30 a gallon. Now, with the innovations we've made over the last few years, we're down in the range of 2 to $3 a gallon as a projected cost. Now, we're not there yet from the standpoint of production, but depending on how fast we can get to scale, uh, we can potentially have solutions within the next few years. And that's, uh, that's really exciting. It'll change the geopolitics of the world. A lot of the reasons we have wars are because of fights over resources. And by creating a more equitable distribution with countries being able to make their own, it should lead to a more uh, stable and peaceful world. Algae biofuel could potentially be used in engines that we already have and there would be no additional infrastructure needed as it would be available at your local gas station. As we develop technology, we plan to partner with lots of people to have it expand in other areas. We're not trying to be the only company doing this because we're in it because of the impact. I always talk with our team. What they're doing is going to change the entire world in the sense of both the protein and the oil production because both are desperately needed. To hear more about the science of algae being made into biofuel, check out this episode of DNews. 
Biofuels like these are energy sources that come from living matter. They stand apart from fossil fuels, which, by the way, also come from living matter, because biofuels are made now, not over millions of years. It takes a lot of time to grow a whole field of, of corn, but to grow out a lot of algae is, is a lot faster, and um, it's just a plant. Thanks for watching Seeker Stories and be sure to subscribe for new videos every week.